Alina Rabakina versus Yelena Ostapenko is the second semi-final for the Ladies Rome Open for 2023. Both ladies have had to fight to get to this stage. Ostapenko entered the tournament as the 20th seed and would get a bye in the first round. In the second round, she'd take on Castella, who had been very impressive the last couple of months. And Ostapenko would have to fight to win in three, 6-3, 3-6, 6-2. In the third round, she'd take on the number 10 seed, Krajikova, who'd been having a pretty decent season so far. And after a good comeback in the first set, she would demolish Krajikova in the second, 7-6-6 love, to advance to the fourth round. Fourth round she'd take on the number eight seed Kazakina who'd been getting in a little bit of form this week and after splitting the first two sets Ostapenko again would demolish in the final set 6-4-4-6-6 love to advance to the quarterfinal. Quarterfinals Ostapenko would take on the unseeded Bedosa who'd beaten Jabur along the way and after dropping the second set Ostapenko would win in three 6-2-4-6-6-3 to advance to the semi-final. We're back in the start of the tournament off as the number seven seed, and we'll get a bye in the first round. In the second round, she'd take on Paolini, and after a close first set, we'll get through in straight 7-6-6-1. In the third round, she'd take on Kalinskaya, who had taken her out in Madrid only a couple of weeks ago, but unfortunately, Kalinskaya got injured and was unable to finish the match. We're back in a leading 4-3 retirement. In the fourth round, she'd take on Von Drusova, who had taken out Zachary in the previous round, and this was so far, we're back in his best performance, getting through in straights, 6-3-6-3. 6-3 to get to the quarterfinals. In the quarterfinals, Rabakina would take on the number one siege Fiontech, who she had beaten twice already this year. But this was their first clay court meeting, and after splitting the first two sets, Fiontech unfortunately got injured and would have to retire in the third, with Rabakina winning 2-6, 7-6, 2-all, six, six, retirement. This will play three times before, with Ostapenko leading the head-to-head 3-1, -head but their recent meeting being in the quarterfinals of the Australian Open was an easy win for Rabakina. Funny enough, back then, she'd also beaten Fiontech to get to that quarterfinal stage. If Ostapenko is going to win this one. She needs to be aggressive like she has been the last couple of matches. She's been so impressive this week beating players like Kazakina, Bedosa, Krajikova really, really easily with her aggressive game. So she needs to be aggressive and make Rabakina move. Rabakina is going to win this one. She needs to get that serve working. The serve wasn't really working against Fiontech. She'd get away with it in the tie break in that second set against Fiontech. But in the first set and a half, she was really struggling to get those first serves in and control the points. So she needs to do that and she needs to make Ostapenko move. This is going to be such a fun matchup. But again, maybe two players at the start of the week that we didn't expect to be in the semi-final stage. But I'm going to go with Ostapenko in this one. I feel like the way she's playing and how she looks so much more comfortable on the clay courts than maybe Rabakina. I think maybe Ostapenko is going to get through in a close three setup. But let me know down in the comments below who's going to win this one.